A charged jamboree involving supporters at the entrance of the Greater Accra Regional Secretariat of the NDC. Supporters of John Dumelo, who is seeking to contest the Ayawaso West Wogon seat, were disappointed over the rescheduling of their betting to today. Ayawaso West Wogon, we've not started betting at all. Uh, the candidates have not even presented themselves to us because early in the morning we had indication from the party that that constituency should be put on hold. So as vetting committee members, we have also uh, listened to the leadership. The incumbent MP for Madina, Francis Xavier Sosu, however, had his future cleared. He will be going unopposed after the vetting panel disqualified sole contender Prince Moses Zakari. As you are all aware, everybody is at liberty to contest, but when you want to contest, you must contest in accordance with the rules. Uh, now, having gone through the process, I've been declared as fit for the contest. However, my opponent was declared as unfit, not qualified. And so what that means is that I'm going on opposed. Nana Oye Bampo Ado and Linda Asibi Awuni, who are both contesting the Adenta seat, went through successfully. At the end of the day, it is one NDC, one umbrella, one party, and our objective is to win December 2024. Nana Oye is the best candidate for Adenta. The regional vetting of parliamentary aspirant is expected to end Wednesday, April 5. However, vetting of aspirant for the Ododo Diodio, Ayawasu Central and Amasaman constituencies have been put on hold for strategic reasons. Christian Yali, TV3 News, Accra.